Although trading is closed on the 8th of December, 2022, we always start with our disclaimer, so let's do that. This is my trading plan for tomorrow, which is December the 9th. Uh, remember, my plan can be wrong, my whole idea can be wrong. Any trade you make should be at your own risk. Futures are down about 10 handles when I recorded my video yesterday. I was looking for a move up right from the open in spite of that, and that's what we got. It's a reminder of what we said. This was the pattern yesterday uh, with the early, uh, I mean not yesterday, today with the early high and tomorrow's pattern has the early low. We did have some MJT targets which printed and there was resistance at the target so we stopped at resistance. The numbers we crossed off the list are 39.6182, 39.6955. During the, the uh, uh, in today's trade and during the day, we got an ultimate sell signal. We traded low. Uh, MJT said this move up was false would retrace. Said this drop was false would retrace. That's already happened. We gapped up, hit a higher high, closed under all the highs. That's a negative negative pattern. Time doesn't run out until tomorrow's open, so if we get in either direction and promptly take out these highs, all that negativity goes away. Otherwise, we trade lower regardless of um, uh, regardless of whether we close lower or not. There are a number of ways to interpret this. We show the few possible price targets at uh, 38.2 and 61.8 retrace of the drop. We have wave three ending here. If this is A of four, and you set it equal to 61.8%, if that's B, you'll hit your target right on the nose at 40.30. So if it's so, bulls are gonna have to go up over these highs fast to keep this rally going. And if they do, the waves balance out around 40-30 and that's a reasonable target. That isn't the only way you can, that isn't the only way you can count this. It's possible to count this as well, wave four is complete because you've got a three wave structure. And if that's true, these five waves are wave one, that's wave two, this impulse is one of three, that's two of three, and we could have wave three of five down. So how do you tell if this is the end of blue four, or if that's just A of four? Well, there really is no perfect way. One way is to recognize that the fourth wave is usually equal to the second wave in terms of time or price. It's not equal to it in terms of time. It's not equal to it in terms of price. So that argues for this being just A. But sometimes what happens is when you connect the end of waves one and three, and you draw a parallel line from wave two, it hits right at wave four, which is right here. So I don't know if that's gonna hold or not, but if it holds, we're going to be in wave three of five down and it has the potential to be a doozy because for those who like Christopher Caroline's work, he has a system called the spiral calendar where he links crash days with a methodology of his own. And F25 from October 18th of 2000 comes on Saturday. Well, if it comes on Saturday, that as far as his system works, it comes either tomorrow, Friday, or Monday. 
but there really is a three-day window in either direction. So if we do start down, it doesn't guarantee you'll have a crash. Just because it's his F25 day, it means it's a candidate for a crash. It doesn't mean you have to crash. A lot of these F days come and go and nothing happens. But if we do start down, it'll be a third wave, probably of multiple degree, and it will come in a potential crash window based on Carol Ann's work. So if you want this to go further, you really want to take these highs out early, because if we start down with conviction, it's a potential crash wave and wave blue five. Well, tomorrow's pattern has the early low. We could still gap up. Typically, it's a rally day with a high in the final hour. It's negative instead. More weakness should follow in days to come. We gapped up at a higher high, but closed under intraday highs. It's a negative pattern. If we don't gap either direction and promptly overtake today's high, should see lower prices tomorrow, regardless of how we close. The PPI comes out an hour before the market opens tomorrow. A favorable response could take us as high as 4030, where the waves balance out. But an unfavorable report should put us in wave five, on uh, wave three, of wave five and down with a potential for a crash within the next few days. Just because the potential is there doesn't mean it'll happen, but it's important that we take this high out early, or at least that's on the table. So tomorrow has the early low, doesn't mean you won't cap up, but if we start down from here, it's wave five down and it could be a doozy. And that is today's call.